Okay, so we're hooked up. Uh, we're still in bypass mode. So what we're going to want to do is flush out the filter media uh, to remove any fines or contamination, any kind of stuff that's uh, you know residual from the manufacturing of the uh, media. So uh, in order to do that, we don't want to run that through our house system. So we're going to go through a series of backwashes and rapid rinses, and that's going to really depend on the size tank you have and the type of media that you have. But the bottom line is, is uh, what we're going to do as we bring the water up, we're going to go ahead and manually put this into our backwash cycle. Uh, again, we'll hit the set, set change button and hold. Uh, it'll go to one day. We'll let loose. We'll go ahead and set and hold again. And this will then drive the valve into section one, which is backwash. Okay, after we're in backwash mode, we're going to go ahead and unplug it. Uh, just because I want to lock this into the backwash mode. And what we're going to do now is basically slowly open the inlet valve and watch our drain and just wait for that to clear, um, you know, start clearing up. So it may take 10 minutes, it may take a half an hour. You just kind of want to run it and do a really good rinse. There again, what you're doing is you're driving the inlet water down the D-tube and up through the media. So you're just basically rinsing all the stuff out of the media. So at this point, we're going to slowly open our inlet valve. And these are marked inlet and outlet. So go ahead and slowly open that. It's going to over a period of a few minutes. And you're just going to monitor your drain line here. And you're just going to slowly open that up and kind of keep opening that out over a period of a few minutes. And eventually you'll have it wide open. And there again, just keep looking at your clear vent line until it starts looking like it's starting to clean up a little bit. Okay, once uh, you've let that uh, flush through the uh, backwash cycle for a while, we're going to go ahead and plug this guy back in. And as you can see, it's still in cycle one backwash. So this is going to count down from its 10 minutes. So go ahead and let that uh, run. Uh, down and then what it's going to do is it's going to go into then the rapid rinse Okay, now we're in the rapid rinse mode uh, Basically set, uh, st or, Excuse me. We're in step two, the rest mode go ahead and you can go ahead and uh, fast forward through that if you want by pressing the menu change button or the set change button and you're going to go into your rapid rinse on sequence three So now what is happening is is the inlet water is coming down through the media and back up through the D-tube like it would if you were in service going to your house. Again, rapid rinse, you're flushing through. So you're going to keep monitoring your outlet here on your drain. Uh, bottom line is, is you want to repeat this backwash and rapid rinse several times until your water is clear during the rapid rinse cycle. It may take two or three cycles, it may take more, but usually three cycles is good enough. Uh, and again, your backwash may not necessarily clear up super clear, but your rapid rinse will eventually become real clear t visually. And that's when you know you've rinsed through it enough to uh, go ahead and uh, apply it back up to your house. Okay, so you have water coming into the tank. You've done your rinses. Uh, during your rapid rinse, your water is running pretty clear. So what we're going to do is go ahead and bring the rest of the system up online now. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do, uh, hopefully you've installed a sample valve here with the house shut off. Um, if not, we'll uh, have to show you. I'll show you how to do this, like through a bathtub or whatever. So anyway, shut off the valve, the the uh, media here. And then we're going to go ahead and open our outlet. Okay, so basically now you have water coming into the tank, water coming out of the tank. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do a little flushing through here. That's going to basically just flush anything out that was downstream of your connections or disconnect. So go ahead and run some water through here for a while. Um, once that runs clear, uh, go ahead then and open your house supply back up and uh, maybe go to a bathtub, something that doesn't have an aeration device. Go ahead and run the water for a few minutes and you should be good to go. Uh, if you don't have these uh, and you you know you weren't able to plumb these in for space or whatever, at that point, once you bring this up online, just go to the nearest uh, faucet without an aeration device like a bathtub or a utility sink and go ahead and run water through that for a little while. 
Um, okay, so um, I think that's going to cover it for today. Uh, you should be good to go. All right, thanks.